and players get replaced. But for Warrior senior John Estes, he's been the rock on the Warrior offensive line. Brian Ojima caught up with the all-conference center and talked about one of the only thing that's changed in Estes' game. Senior co-captain John Estes is one of the leaders on this year's Warriors football team. The center from Stockton, California has started every game of his UH career, a total of 41 straight games, a streak that dates back to his freshman year in 2006. John's explanation for the streak is quite simple. You know, just preparation and uh, staying in the weight room keeps you injury free. From the time he set foot on the UH campus, his stellar performance on the field has been the one constant on the offensive line. What has changed, though, is his appearance, as you can see from his long locks that flowed from his helmet last season. During the Idaho game, it was uh, wet and it was rainy, and my hair just was like a mess. It got tangled, and then I was just like, after the game, I was just like, I'm going to cut it, I'm going to cut it. And then I think that Wednesday before the game, I went to uh, Keith Asun's house and uh, Rocky cut my hair. But I actually told everyone I got it, it got stuck in a fan, and everyone believed me. <laughs> now sporting the clean-cut look, Estes is a two-time first-team all-wax center who many believe will be the next warrior to play in the NFL. It's a compliment, but, uh, you know, I try not to think about it, and I just want to win and, you know, and play my best. And if I play my best, it'll just, it'll just come to me. In Manoa, Brian Ojima, KHNL and K5 News. And Estes will make his 42nd straight start for the Warriors on Friday when the team opens their season against Central Arkansas at Aloha Stadium. Game time is set for 7 o'clock. On the other side of the ball, the Warriors take another big hit this morning. Defensive end John Fanotti was carted off the practice field with a left knee injury. It happened during a scrimmage when an offensive lineman accidentally fell on top of him. According to online reports, Fanotti says the initial diagnosis is a hyperextension. He was scheduled to undergo an MRI today and is still hoping to play in this Friday's opener. Vinotti is UH's lone returning defensive starter after Brashton Satelli went down with a torn labrum during training camp. And one last football note, the Buffalo Bills waived Solomon Elamimium, UH's career-leading tackler. Solly was among six players cut so the Bills could get their roster down to the mandated 75 players. The Bills signed Elamimium to a free agent contract only 13 days ago. I was just too sure uh, to turn it around and try to run to the ball and just felt it go back. An image nobody wants to see, especially the week of your season opener. One of your defensive leaders getting hurt in practice. UH defensive end John Fonotti, the UH football team's lone returning full-time starter on D, went down with an injury to his left knee this morning and was carted off the practice field. He was scheduled to undergo an MRI today. How you doing, everybody? Let's talk sports. Fonotti said that it was initially diagnosed as a hyperextension, suffered when somebody landed on him during 11-on-11 drills. Results of the MRI are in. And according to coach Greg McMacken, Fono T has a bruised patella and does not appear to have any more significant damage in the knee. That means he could be a go as soon as this Friday when UH opens the 2009 campaign against Central Arkansas. But the Warriors are bracing themselves to battle without him just in case. We have the same game plan. The next guy who is uh, Lico Satelli would step up and he's been practicing and working out all summer. And, uh, you know, the next guy just has to step up. I don't know, it's mixed thoughts, getting kind of nervous, but we'll see when it comes on Friday. That's not the way I saw it going down, but, uh, you know, I got to step up for John, and hopefully I feel the void good enough to step up to his level. Now, on a separate note, there is now a clear backup at the quarterback position for Hawaii. Junior Brent Rausch was told today that he is the number two QB behind starter Greg Alexander. Rausch was competing mainly with Lelehua grad, sophomore Bryant Moniz, for the backup role. One snap away, just keep working hard. I mean, second guy in line, you know, something happens great, I'm the guy, so just got to be ready for that. I've been doing some good things, a couple, uh, set a couple goals for myself, and I hit a couple of them in this camp, so I'm pretty happy about that. Warriors open the season this Friday against Division I AA or FCS opponent Central Arkansas. Kickoff at Aloha Stadium is set for 7.05 p.m. And somebody slipped and fell down and that happens in football and, and uh, you know, I just hope and pray that he's, uh, that John Finote is okay. It's always tough to see anyone go down, but then when it's one of your leaders and, you know, one of your stronger players on defense, it's always going to hurt. It sucks, you know, uh, I don't know how bad his injury is, but to see him on the ground and stuff, uh, 
I mean, we're, we already lost Bastion to lose another brother. It's, uh, it's tough on us, you know? Oh, roll through it, John. <laughs> Especially being so close to game time, you know, we're only a couple couple days away, and you know, he wanted to go out there and go out with a bang, you know, senior season, um, the only returning starter, so I know how much he wanted it, so hopefully it's not too bad. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. The only returning defensive starter on the UH football team, silence practice this morning, squirming on the grass, punching the ground, and holding on to his left knee before being taken off on the back of a golf cart. There's concern. Will senior defensive end Fete Ionongo Fono T be available for Friday's season opener against Central Arkansas? Will he be able to play at all this season? Are you worried about what's going to happen on Friday? A little bit, not too much. Should be okay. How are you feeling? Good. Good, good like you can play? Yeah. I'll be there. Really? Yeah. <laughs> 62 tackles, three and a half sacks, three fumble recoveries for Fonoti last season. He's a beast as a pass rusher. If John cannot go, does that change your approach to game one? No, we're, we have the same game plan. And, uh, you know, the next guy just has to step up. This is football, and it's happened to us two or three times, and uh, we just have to step up and be ready to play. Coach Mack told me late this afternoon doctors have told him that Fonoti does not require surgery right now, but he's listed as day-to-day, -day and trainers will keep a close eye on him. Stepping up, as McMackman says, will be sophomore Liko Sotele, younger brother of Warriors linebacker Braston Sotele, who had season-ending shoulder surgery last week. Yeah, it's not the way I saw it going down, but, uh, you know, i got to step up for John, and hopefully I feel the void. I'm, I'm sure you've been thinking about the day you get to walk on the field, the, the day you get to go under the lights. Those thoughts have been good thoughts? Uh, I don't know, it's mixed thoughts. Getting kind of nervous, but we'll see when it comes on Friday, how it goes on. Uh, if Fete Anongo Fonoti is a no-go, then according to the NC2A, Hawaii would be the only Division I program in the country on either offense or defense without a returning starter. John Fonoti is the only returning starter to Hawaii's defense. That's why it's so concerning that he was carted off the field this morning. Fonoti appears to have hurt his left knee and will undergo an MRI today to determine the extent of the injury. Today was his first day back working out since aggravating his ankle last week. In fact, as soon as Fonoti went down, Coach Greg McMacken ended practice some 15 minutes early. If necessary, Fonoti's backup at defensor right end is Lee Costatelle. The quarterback battle for the number two spot is officially over. The job goes to returner Brent Roush, who played in three games last season. Roush beat out Lele Hua grad Bryant Moniz to earn the backup spot behind Greg Alexander. Fifth-year senior Inoki Funaki says this season will be interesting for him no matter what as he completes his transition from quarterback to running back for Hawaii. Uh, coming along from spring, I feel more comfortable as far as uh, where I should go and what I should be looking for. After years of throwing the ball, even from his days at Kahuku, Inoki Funaki is now running with it. And while he was always a QB with rushing numbers, Funaki likes what he can learn from his fellow running backs. Chizzy definitely has that acceleration, you know. Um, he's quick, he makes moves. But Alex being a little bit bigger, you know, he's, uh, he's more physical, he's stronger. Um, and also Leon being more experienced. And Leon, I think, you know, he definitely has that breakaway speed, you know. And also Rago. Rago's a great blocker. He's probably the most aggressive blocker. All that adds up to quite a set of weapons. But then again, this year, these guys are expected to perform above average. Coach kind of changed it from running backs. He calls us the super backs now. We're known as the super backs. Uh, you know, they, they're asking to, to block, to run, to catch the ball screens. So they're going to have to save the day then? Yeah, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> We're trying. We're trying. Keep in mind, it's a short week. For the first time since 1998, Hawaii is opening its season on a weekday. This Friday, UH hosts Central Arkansas, and it's a late game at the Aloha Stadium. Kickoff is at 7.05. And if you want Warrior football on Thursday, watch the Coach Mack show the second season. That's at 6.30.